Okay. Hey guys. So, all right. So, oh my God. All right. I'm going to the gym today. I know. Hey, how are you? I'm going to the gym. I look crazy as usual. I, don't, I just don't. Ugh. Okay. My, this, this room is a disaster, isn't it? I don't know. I hate when the room is not just like completely white. Like I don't want to see anything. I just want everything to be not here. Like every, I hate that everything is showing. Like I just want to white everything. Uh, anyway, I'm going to the gym. Let's be real. Seriously, the only reason I'm going to the gym is because I need razors, okay? <laughs> like, I ran out of razors and I was like, I might as well just go to the gym and get some fucking razors. All right, so I'm doing that. Um, anyway, before I go, I'll take you guys with me today. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just doing a lot of things today. Hey, um, I teamed up with this brand who you guys might or might not know it's called color science and so before i go out i'm going to use some of their well actually i'm going to use i think i'm going to just use one of their products right now um and later on after the gym i might use both there's one product that i really like but um this is their new one and so i want to talk about their new one and it's the clinical redness corrector it's very like scientific so i hope i don't mess this up because it's like legit scientific stuff and you guys know that i'm not the best at um describing things okay so it's called all calm and it instantly neutralizes redness so i think this would be like a really good base and that's what i'm going to use right now just so i don't look really really terrible when i go to the gym and it's really lightweight i really like that it's almost it's like a mousse um and you can't really see it on your skin which i really like but it just instantly neutralizes red and that's what i like like i'm very red right here. i have like a red spot here here i just like you know i have freckles like there's certain places that i just would prefer not to show red but i don't want to like look like i'm wearing a lot of makeup i just don't want to look gross and can you see how perfect it makes your skin this is really 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 nice stuff you guys um i tried the other day when they got it in the mail and so i've been wanting to show you did you see that? Did you see that red spot? How it just completely went away. I don't know if you noticed. Maybe I'll show you more later on. But it literally makes any red spot disappear in not a disgusting way. I really, really like it. You know, I don't like to look like I'm wearing makeup. And it's so nice. It is so nice. I literally have no red on my face anymore. Like those red splotches are just gone. Okay, I'm kind of amazed. And it doesn't look like I'm wearing anything on my face. I love it. I really like it. I just love the fact that it turns into like another skin. I don't feel sticky and I don't feel dry. Just, it feels like nothing. But then I'm not like, I'm not red at all like my BB creams and stuff I still will have a little bit of red through everything I'll have like red splotchy places but like especially this place I really don't like it um and like here I have some red but it's just gone wow I'm just really really impressed also what you should know it's a three-in-one and I love anything that takes care of like multiple jobs at one time you guys know I don't like a super long skin regimen or makeup regimen it takes care of redness it's amazing for sensitive skin, so you should know. It's really, really good for sensitive skin. I don't really have sensitive skin, but if you have sensitive skin, it's made for you especially, and it's SPF 50. So it's really nice. I'm really impressed by this. I'm just looking at the bottle, I like it. Okay, and also I want you guys to see that it's, um, it's like a mousse. It's really a nice, like, it's nice, it's light. It's not like a heavy, it's like a mousse. It's really nice. Actually, the truth is with mousses, I'm not like super big fans. I feel like they dry me out. This one 100% did not dry me out. It just, like I said, became another skin. What am I going to do with this now? Why did I do that? I'm just going to put it in the box. <laughs> so let me just read you the package because I want to make sure you guys know exactly what it is because you guys know my vocabulary can be really amateur at times. So it says this three in one Proprietary, proprietary formula instantly neutralizes the appearance of redness, helps soothe and calm sensitive skin, and provides SPF 50 protection while its patent-pending patent biosolus complex helps provide ongoing relief from sensitivity and the appearance of redness. So that's pretty much what it is. It's really nice. I'm going to leave the link for you guys. I think there's a... Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. <clears throat> I was going to... I didn't want to put this on right now. 
Okay, so I don't want to put this back in the bottle because I ruined the box. Okay, so they sent me some other things too. Um, they sent me a tint, like which I really do like. I love um, tints, like uh, it's this, it's called a soleil tint, and I love the word. I love like that the word soleil. It's like sun, sun in French. Um, it's a sunscreen, but it's a tinted tint sunscreen. So I'm gonna use this later on today. I'll bring it with me for the gym. Um, let me put it in my gym bag. And But the one thing that they sent me that I really was like, oh my God, so cute. You guys, they're going to give it to you for free. Okay, they're going to give it to you for free. Let me put it in my gym bag. This is, oh yeah, this is, <laughs> this is my multi-purpose bag. Okay, you guys, like whatever. Okay. Um, of course, I have the HR chain on it. Duh. All right. Um, so the one thing they sent me, I was like so, I was like, oh my God, this is so cute. I'm going to like literally leave this in my car for all the time. Is this, and you get it for free. And you get it for free. Oh my gosh, so funny, so a text. Sorry, you get it for free when you purchase the All Calm. So the thing I just put on, if you purchase this, you get this for free. And this was the thing I was like, so cool. I, was, I loved it, I don't know, I just, I've never seen it before. I haven't used it yet because I wanted to wait to use it with you guys. But okay, it's a, it's a sunscreen, a brush on sunscreen. Okay, I've never heard of this. I've never ever heard of like a powder sunscreen. I don't know. Do I live under a rock? I don't know. But how do I use this? This is in a medium. I think I probably would have preferred light. But that's okay. It's so cool. There is like sunscreen powder in here. In a little brush. But how does it come out? Do you just tap it? I'm like so, so generously. Okay. You guys, this is SPF 50. It's SPF 50 powder. That's so cool. So if you buy this, you can get this for free. And I'll put the link, I'll put the code below so you guys can get it for free. And this is so cute. Can you imagine just like, so now if you're like, if you're, if you need to like, you know, sweep something, sweep some makeup across during the day because you're like too glowy or something, it will be sunscreen. It's so good. I don't know. I just, I've never, okay, how do I get this to work though? Usually it just starts to come out, right? Twist it, no. There it comes. Just gotta like start knocking it a little bit and it will come out. I'm like just, look at it, it's starting to come out, okay. I'm just so, so, it's like such a good idea. So now when I get like all greasy during the day, I can just fluff this on a little bit in my T-zone and it will be sunscreen. So stoked, okay. So this is color science, you guys. And like I said, I am working with them now. So yay, I'm so excited. All right, I'm gonna go put in these two. I'm gonna, I'll come, I'm putting these three because I'll put this on first. I don't know, I'll, I'll just decide what I'm gonna use later. But these are my three new products that I'm gonna be using today. I'll put them in here. Okay, I'm going to the gym now. You guys. On my way to the gym. Um, this is the first time I'm going to this gym. So if you don't know how Equinox works, like there's like different tiers or whatever, like, I don't know, whatever. I was like going to like this, I was going to this one was like really, really expensive. It was like, the, I don't know, but I just wasn't going, <laughs> obviously, like I wasn't going. And I was paying all this like, I was paying like all this money a month for nothing. So I was like, I'm just gonna go down to like the lower level because I went and checked out this gym and it was like fine, like whatever. It wasn't like, a, like the gym I was paying so much for, it wasn't like a, so much better than the other ones, you know? So it's like, fuck this. Um, so I'm gonna check this gym out. Like, I really need razors, I'm not gonna lie. I know that sounds like so bad. But um, I'm so weird with like C going to CVS. I would refuse to go to CVS unless I have like a 30% off coupon. Like, I don't know what it is about it. It's just I feel like every time I go to CVS, the next day I'll get something in my email for 30% off coupon. It's so fucked up. Like, they do it on purpose, I feel like. So like, I refuse to go to CVS unless I have a 30% off coupon. Or at least like a, some kind of a coupon. Like, I don't know what it is. I feel like they're so generous. They're still like always giving people coupons. Like, oh my fucking coupon. Anyway, so I'm like not gonna go buy razors until I get the coupon. <laughs> um, and so like, I need to, I was like, whatever. I'm just gonna go to the gym today. Like I haven't been to this gym. And I'll get like coffee afterwards. I don't know what I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I, my friend was free, she's not free today, but if my friend was free, I might've gone shopping, I don't know. 
Uh, oh my god, you guys need to go shopping. Let me tell you, so I opened up, but I opened up, but I did, I've done like a closet clean out on Instagram called HRH Alex Closet, A L so HRH A-L-E-X Closet. And I'm selling some bags and shoes and, um, I think it's like, I'm not desperate to sell the bags. Like I don't care. I just honestly like need more room in my closet. Like I've never sold a bag. Every single bag you guys have ever seen me have, unless I told you I returned it for whatever reason, um, I still have. So I just don't have any room anymore. And I just don't use this stuff. I don't fucking use it. But at the same time, I'm like really sentimental. Also, you guys, I, it's like, okay, I love you, but it's kind of annoying. I'm sorry, I guess I'm very honest with you. It's kind of annoying. You're like, people are like, oh my God, why are you selling this? Why are you selling this? Like, keep it, keep it. Like, like, it's, stop it. Like, please stop it. Like, no. Like, you guys want it? Fine. Like, I don't want it anymore. It's just, you, I feel like I'm getting so many comments on these pictures. Like, commenting like, oh my God, why are you selling it? Why are you selling it? You need to keep it. Like, because I don't, I'm not using it. I don't know because I don't, I don't personally like find that I'm like always reaching for it. I don't know. But anyway, it's like, it, it, it's taken me this many years to like sell some of these things and now I'm you guys telling me not to sell them <laughs> but um so go check it out I it's mostly like auction it's all like luxury items right now like whatever designer goods I had like some t-shirts and things on there yesterday um and I don't know like I said I told you guys if you if you know a bag that like you saw that I have that I haven't worn in a while you're more than welcome to DM me with your offer I, I I'm not like I don't know how much these things are. I'm just kind of just like seeing what people are selling them for and then like making a price based on like whether or not I want to sell it or not. Like I don't really want to sell it. If I had like a huge walk-in closet, I have a, like a very tiny walk-in closet. If I had like a freaking bedroom closet, like, you know, like celebrities have, I would probably keep everything just because, oh my God, that's a little pug. It looks a little Frenchy. look like a little cow. It's so cute. Um, I probably wouldn't sell anything like I because because I don't I, this is what it feels like I work so hard for these things and now I'm gonna let them go for like nothing you know what I mean is that how you guys feel like I was like fuck it I'm just gonna keep it like I don't know like I, I'm not like I I don't know like if I was if I, if I needed the money I would probably like but like, yeah sure like I don't know I don't it's not you know what I mean I'm not selling them for them selling them because I don't like have I really don't have space anymore um and like, why not? Like, I, why not? And the truth is, I said before, oh, fuck. It's the truth is, I said before, I really would rather my subbies have my stuff rather than like going somewhere else or whatever. I, I want people who, like, I think it'd be so cool if you guys were like, oh my god, at one point I loved that bag, like that, sh that you, uh, you wore. Like, I would love to have it now. You know what I mean? Like, I would, I would like that. Like, if I, I don't know, if there was someone out there I really, really liked and they were selling a bag that I had liked on them, I would. I would want it and it's like a it's like a, a the, the transaction feels better to me and that's that weird like I don't know um I want them to go to nice homes people who like them than who like like me <laughs> I don't know I don't know probably that fucking weird okay so that's that um go check it out whatever don't check it out if you don't want to if you don't want to buy my things then don't if you want to buy my things then do it um I'm on my way to the gym I don't fucking know what else you guys okay I I, I'm I am going to toot my own horn right now. I have lost weight. Like I have lost weight. Um, this is this camera is never a flattering camera. Like it's never like an honest camera, especially when I'm like in the right in the middle of the screen because that's where it blows. You know what I mean? I'm always saying that, but it's true. Um, fish lens thing, the blow fish lens. Uh, I've lost weight. For sure, okay? Like, for damn sure I've lost weight. It's not like a little bit of bloating or whatever. You know how sometimes you like, lose water weight? Like, no, I have lost weight. Hello? What? Hello? I'm just doing a meeting right now. Okay, what are you doing? Are you going to a meeting? Meeting. Okay. Um, I'm going to the gym, I guess. Which one? The new one. Beverly Hills? Maybe. Cool, have fun. All right, talk to you a little bit. <laughs> I, hate your, I hate your enthusiasm. It is so obnoxious because you're like trying to be like that supportive mom to her fat kid. Like, oh my God, good job. Have a great time at school today even though you're going to get bullied. That's not true. Yeah, it is. I hate it. I, Wait, like, if, if, if I had gone to the gym every single, if I go to, if I, gym, if like going to the gym was like a normal thing, you just uh, be like, okay, cool, bye. But now you're like, oh, so cool. You're trying to like encourage me, so I go more. So sad. No, I'm trying to encourage you to not waste 200 and 
while it was 90 before $250 a month. Okay. Whatever. All right. Okay. I'm going to go. I'm going to hit no reception. I got it. Yeah, okay. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Oops. Um, that's true, right? Like, he's like, he's like oh, okay, cool. He's like, desperately wants me to go to the gym. It's so embarrassing. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, okay. I've lost fucking weight, you guys. I've lost weight. I've lost weight. Like, I think you guys know by seeing my photos. But, like, I, like, I can legitimately tell I lost weight. Like, my body looks different. Like, my... Whatever. It's back down. So, I'm just really happy. Really, really happy. My link cuisines are working. A lot of you guys, like, are, like, ugh, about link cuisines. Like, okay, well, the truth is, like, the truth is in the pudding. Isn't that what it's called? The truth is in the pudding. I don't know. It's working really well. Maybe I'll show you guys some more lean cuisines when I get home, which ones I really like, because a lot of you guys are into this too, and it does work. So maybe I should tell you guys what I eat during the day. I'll do that. So what I eat during the day, because like, a lot of you guys are asking me too, like on DMs, um, like what do you have for lunch? Like are you eating lean cuisines all the time? Like no. I, I can understand like eating lean cuisines for every fucking meal probably isn't like the best, because it's, it's like there's a lot of sodium in it and like other shit. I don't even know, whatever, preservatives probably, but whatever I'm all about. It's only about calories. I don't care what anyone says, please, please. Okay, it's about calories if you want to lose weight. Okay, so in the morning I have my coffee and my fiber one. In my coffee I do have half and half, but it's obviously, it's measured out. Um, so it's not like a ton of half and half or whatever. Um, and then I have for lunch, I will have, okay, then sometimes I do do that thing where on the way to work I get a coffee and a pastry and I'll eat like half the pastry or a quarter of the pastry. I do that, but not all the time. But I do do that, okay? So that's, you know, that's a lot of calories right there. But the coffee is just black coffee. It's not, it's zero calories. Um, for lunch, I have a big salad with very little dressing. I have to put the dressing on the side and I'll just like slightly dip or like pour a little bit. Probably max a tablespoon, like max a tablespoon. Um, then I won't have anything all day long um, until I get home. I'll probably have, it depends if I'm hungry or not. I have like like something portioned out that's under 100 calories. Some kind of a snack, whether it's like fruit or um, like a granola bar or like popcorn or something that's like under 100, but everything is portioned out because that's my problem. Even if I'm not hungry, I'll eat. And I eat. I can eat a lot, I think. Like for dinner, I can eat a lot. I, I just can. Probably because I don't eat throughout the day and then I'm starving when I get home. Um, and so then for dinner, I'll have a Lean Cuisine and if I'm really hungry, I'll also have another salad with my Lean Cuisine, but that's only if I'm really hungry. Um, and then for dinner, for breakfast afterwards, I'll have those little Snickers that are 90 calories, or like a 10 calorie Jello, sugar-free Jello, or something like that, or like a rice cracker, a rice cracker rice cake with like chocolate on it. There's like rice crackers with chocolate on them at Whole Foods that are like 60 calories for one. And that's it. Like that's what I, honest to God, what I do. I don't know how many calories that is in a day. I'm, I'm thinking it's like a thousand, maybe, maybe a little bit more sometimes, maybe a bit less sometimes. But I'm thinking like, I mean, I could. I don't think I can eat any less than that. Like that's the thing. I just really don't think I can eat any less than that. It's like, it's hard. I don't think I can. Like I don't. So if that's what I'm eating, it's working for me. I might like I might get to a point where I'm gonna start to plateau, and then we have to go lower. I don't I don't know. We'll see when it comes. Hopefully, um, I'm not trying to like be fit. Like I'm really not trying to be fucking fit. Like like I don't care. I'm not even trying to like be healthy. <laughs> like let's be real. Like I just want to lose weight. I'm not trying to like watch all like the sodium and watch anything. Like I just I'm trying to like shed some weight and like tone up a little bit. Um, I'm not trying to be like muscular, show any like definition or like six pack or any shit like that. Like I'm, I'm just not like, um, but I'm just being honest with you guys, I'm not like trying, I'm not, not, not like, I'm not, I don't like the gym, I don't like physical activity. I'm just trying to be, I'm just trying to be like an average in my, in my, in my head, just, just a, a thinner person, a thinner, a thinner version of myself. So that's it. I don't know. Am I boring the fuck out of you guys? You guys, I don't know. Maybe I'm, like, too honest and I get, like, in trouble from you, but I don't give a fuck. Fuck off. Um. Okay, then I'm going to put on that other one that I didn't use this morning, and this is the Tint de Soleil. It's a sunscreen, broad-spectrum sunscreen, SPF 30, and water-resistant. Let's try this. 
this one. All right, and this is the color light. So it will probably be perfect for me. It's really nice, I can tell like, it's really, really good. It smells good and it feels good. See how it's just like a skin almost? Okay, let me show you guys. <laughs> I feel so bougie. That's a vibe. She wanna vibe. That's a vibe. Yeah. Uh, that On top of everything, I actually don't feel like coffee. I feel like an orange juice vodka is so bad right now. What time is it? It's like one. It's fine. I can get one, right? I just don't feel like coffee. I think I'm just gonna go sit down and have a drink by myself. Who cares? And like something very small, like a salad. What do you think? I think that's what I'm gonna do. So, <clears throat> you guys know how like I'm inspired by people, right? I think I need chapstick. My mouth feels very dry. Um, I'm like very inspired by people not inspired I just feel like if I see someone on Instagram or something I get inspired by, by people's lives not about their looks I think about their lifestyle more um, and I try to like I think like when I when I get inspired I try to emulate as much as I can or just like put like like little parts of what they do like what they seem looks neat into my life too like why not like if they look happy and if they're like living their like life like the best life ever even though I hate that I hate that word even though they're they're living like an amazing life um and maybe I can't have that life exactly but like I can like you know fake it a little bit it, was, it like seems fun so there's this woman and I'm I don't even know her name I don't even know she's like I don't even think she's anyone um but I've recently followed her and she's an she's an older woman she's probably like 65 um <laughs> you guys my you guys I'm looking I like, this is like my role model okay listen to this so she's like 65 I think she's like Ukrainian or like Russian I know they're not the same okay I'm not like you know like totally eat like what's it called like ethocentric or something um but um not ecocentric it's like ethocentric isn't it when you're just like I forget what the word is um but she okay so she's like she lives here I'm in Beverly Hills right now I'm sure I think she lives in Beverly Hills because she's always like going to she's always she's very involved in like her her community as far as like I, either she's UK, Ukrainian I think she's Ukrainian um, and she's like always doing like really cool things like she goes to like fabulous like events and she's always wearing really nice things like always has designer things on like going to Gucci and like trying on like, getting sunglasses and like getting new shoes and like she's always walking around like really cool like sporty outfits and she just looks bomb okay she doesn't look like a mess she doesn't look she might be older but she doesn't look old but she doesn't like dress too young she just looks cool and I noticed that she like goes to the gym a lot but she doesn't look like amazingly fit she just looks like a pretty woman and she goes to the gym and then afterwards she or she'll like go to um she'll go to like cut it's like a like a steakhouse and just have like, a glass of wine by herself but she's married I think I'm like such a creep um but she's just amazing like I don't know like she like she goes into like Dior with her friends and like buys a bag and then goes to the gym I don't know she just seems cool okay I don't know where the fuck am I going I'm, I'm driving and I'm not even knowing where I'm going I think I'm in the right place wow it was like luck um so actually recently that's why I like all her photos like I, I I like people's photos like I'm, I don't feel like I'm stingy on my likes I feel like I really have to like your photo to like it with think what you think is so stupid or unless I'm like your friend like legitimately your friend I'll like your photo no matter what but like I really like her like I like all her photos because I just think that she's just so does whatever the fuck she wants she has a lot of money she's married like I, I think she's married she seems married um and she just like just does like the coolest shit like she does like nothing but it's like the best nothing ever and um so recently she started following me back and she liked one of my photos and I was like so so flattered and then the other day 
I saw her walking around Beverly Hills. <laughs> I saw her walking and I almost was like, I can't pronounce her name because it sounds like a very like Russian name or like or a very hard name for me to pronounce. Right I can't pronounce shit, okay? But um, I, don't, I almost was like, hey, <laughs> but I didn't do it. Um, am I in the right spot? This guy's driving like a fucking moron. So anyway, so I feel like I'm going to run into her eventually. I don't even know. Like, she's probably gonna think I'm the weirdest person ever, but she followed me back, so maybe not. I'm not in the right, yes, I am in the right place. So I'm just gonna like, I'm just here today, you guys. I'm here today, okay? I went to the gym, and now I'm going to get my skin tree. <laughs> you guys, I'm totally her. I wanna be her. She's so, she's just so cool. I thought there was a parking area here. God damn it. Is there? Is the two hour free? Oh, it's right there. Ugh! I gotta make a U-turn, can I? Oh my god, I can't. I'm gonna do. You guys, I don't you? Um. But I really just feel like. Okay, can you go? Because I'm trying to go around. Damn it, I'm like not gonna be able to go now. Can I go up here? Is there a cop here? Ah, it's a cop right there. <laughs> I knew it. I can't go anywhere. I don't know. If, what am I gonna do? He's gonna see me. Damn it. Fuck! Ah! I can't even go left! God fucking damn it. That wasn't to me. Oh, fuck it. I'm making left hair. I don't give a shit. I need to go back around. So I'm not going to where she goes. Um, I'm going to this other place that I recently found, which I like, but I haven't had a drink there. But you guys know, let me tell you, my new thing is I like love, I went, I got this fresh squeezed orange juice with, um, go look at my picture when I was sitting at the Beverly Welsher. I had fresh squeezed orange juice with vodka, but it has to be that really orange, 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 fresh squeezed, or like orange color fresh, fresh squeezed orange juice. Like I had, I've had like them since other places but if it's not that amazing orange juice it doesn't taste as good but that's what I feel like right now I feel like some orange juice even though there's calories in there I know with vodka which I know there's calories in but okay also can we look at my um necklaces these are my new necklaces have you guys purchased them yet they're from my Monday blues um listing I did a Monday blues offer they're $25 each it doesn't matter your choice even the little star and the star is gonna be the longer one and the other five chain designs are all the shorter ones. So you can choose one or two like delicate chains and then the star and you can layer them together perfectly. So they're $25 a piece. You can save like, I think this one would be at least $15 more. So you're saving a, you're saving a lot of money. It's a fun thing. I'll put the link below. Um, let me see, can you see them? They're really pretty, but I have them like layered. And I'm, what am I wearing? I'm wearing the angel wing chain on the top and then I'm wearing the delicate bones chain in the middle and then I'm wearing a little star here and I love it I love it because they're really dainty you can hardly like you can it's not that you can hardly see them they're so dainty it just looks like there's like gold on your neck they're so gorgeous I don't want to say you can hardly see them but they're really delicate beautiful pieces that you can just wear like right now I'm wearing yoga pants like a zip-up sweater I'm like so skinny now I can wear like a tight ass sweater I feel so good about myself Okay, I suck. I suck. <laughs> you guys, I'm drinking alone. Okay, this is an all-time low. Actually, who cares? It's not. I'm having fun. I hope I don't crash in here. I hate coming into these kind of parking lots. I always feel like I'm going to crash. But these are the kind of necklaces that, that will just, like, glisten on your neck. It'll just, it looks like there's, like, little gold stars dancing on your neck but it's actually chain really pretty and then you have like the pendant okay see i can't stop talking and i'm driving okay go 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 thank you i love to swing wide because i don't swing wide i'm gonna hit this car and I, this car does not need the fucking wreck okay so i'm here and i am that woman you guys okay i honestly I remember last time that like my actually she's my friend now um, that Asian girl who I like, became obsessed with from Louis Vuitton so you guys found her for me remember because I didn't know who she was um, I feel like you're gonna do that again with this woman but I just don't want to interrupt her I feel like it's different like this is like an older woman she's gonna literally think I'm a stalker so let's not do that like if you know who she might be 
it lets be fun. We can like talk about it on here, but let's not like attack her and like contact her like everyone did with like the the Asian girl who I do really appreciate you guys doing that for me because I genuinely wanted to like meet her and now we're friends. Um, but this one, like, let's just, she's like, an, you know what I mean? I don't want to freak her out. She might be like, okay, this girl is literally stalking me. So, you know what I mean? Can I show you guys how, like, okay, I'm like so fit. I have my gym membership here, right in front. I'm so fit now. I'm a fitness model. <laughs> I'm gonna actually look her up right now and see what she's doing right now. <laughs> oh, I don't know. How to, see, I don't even know how to pronounce her name. I don't know how to pronounce her name even. Like I would, I I don't know. Let's see, if she's on my stories. She's always posting stories, like what she's doing. Like, it's like I told you, like, nothing, but it's, like, whatever, it's, like, everything, because it's, like, that's what you want to be fucking doing. I know, I guess if I had so much free time, that's probably the kind of shit I'd be doing, too. Just, like, every day off. Like, what else can you do? Oh my god, did she block me? <laughs> I <laughs> know she already blocked me. <laughs> I'm trying to find her. Oh my god, what happened to her? Why isn't she posting? It starts with the... I don't want to say it. Here she is. She hasn't... She, oh my god, there's no stories. Okay, I'm just going to show you her photo. Because you probably... But like, okay, no, I'm not going to show you that one. Which one I'm going to show you? Okay, can we just look, look how fabulous she is? She's like so cool, right? She's so fab. I love her. She's just so cool. Like, she's got a lot of followers too. Oh, thank you very much. All right, absolutely. Oh, amazing. Thank you. Oh my God, it's the good kind of orange shoes. I'm in fucking heaven. Heaven. Except I don't think she would approve of this, that lady, because she has like a glass of white wine. Probably because it has like the least amount of calories in it. <laughs> I got a Caesar salad. The dressing on the side, I didn't get any protein on it because I just not really that hungry. I just wanted something to like bite on, so I figured that like lettuce is the best option. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> So amazing. I'm so happy right now. Perfect. I love that there's like no one here. It's my ultimate favorite thing. got a coffee to go. So cute. My phone was just almost dead. Speedy. Oh, this is, I'm, I have my original pre-bay bag chain on here now. I showed you guys the last time I was wearing the one with the mini pre-bay bag chain. I prefer, if you guys, you guys always ask me which bag chain I prefer. I will always prefer the original ones just because I love a chunky, sturdy, heavy, luxe chain. Even though both bag chains are very luxe. The other one is more delicate and it's just, just a personal preference honestly they're both beautiful it's just a, this one is just really nice and big and i love bold things and it's just so comfortable like it's amazing this is the medium one i'm wearing on here and yeah i just leave that on because i love like swing swaying things so you can see my outfit at all i don't know before i go I feel like this look is something she would wear, but with like a real kind of a bougie like she would probably she doesn't wear all black she wears like different colors. 
you see? I don't know if you can see, I'm wearing my Gucci loafers. Okay, so we are done being her, now it's back to reality. It's just like what I said, I like to take pieces, let me try to didn't forget anything. I like to take pieces of people's lives that I admire, and, you know, it's just fun.